Hitler's forces stormed through France, crushing all opposition. At the heart of their rapid advance was a new military elite, the Waffen-SS. In retrospect, I think that there was a very strong spirit of comradeship, which was based on the same beliefs, so to speak, based on the fact that we were convinced we were conducting a just fight. The Waffen-SS were determined to disprove army accusations that they were amateurs. The Nazi combat elite was a new breed of military athlete, with a special training program designed by former army officer Felix Steiner. Recruits also had training in Nazi ideology. The Waffen-SS had become a multinational army. Now the masses were called up, there were more and more divisions. And after that, our fighting morale was never really the same as it had been before. Ex-youth leader Arthur Atzmann was determined to form a new SS division. He recruited 20,000 teenagers direct from the ranks of the Hitler Youth. When it was founded, we didn't like the name at all, because it sounded really childish. We wanted to be real soldiers, you see. The youngest among us didn't get any cigarettes. Well, they didn't smoke anyway. They actually got sweets. They were fighters, really. Um, a lot of them fought right to the bitter end. They wouldn't give up. They'd been programmed to believe the final victory would be theirs. Budapest was an utter disaster for the Waffen-SS. After seven weeks, the Hungarian capital fell to the Red Army. The attempt to end the siege had failed. Of the 22,000 SS troops in the city, 19,000 were killed. In April 1945, thousands of German soldiers crossed the Elbe to surrender to the Western Allies rather than face the vengeful Red Army. Among those giving up their arms were many men from the Waffen-SS.